Welcome to Insight Builder channel. Large language model automators, Python experts, and this time artificial intelligence and deep learning model auto trainers. Okay, this discussion video is going to be about auto train. Auto train on custom data sets from the Hugging Face Hub, and we are going to deep dive into the world of data sets and training the models that is already available. That is fine tuning the model. Okay, so what is the challenge that is solved by Autotrain? Autotrain is one of the services that has been uh, created. It is in beta stage in Hugging Face Up. So before I go into this process, let me introduce that to you guys. So before uh, going to that particular discussion, I have been making a lot of videos related to open source models and how the open source models can be leveraged for your particular requirement. And uh, I have been also trying to work with uh, various uh, fine tuning uh, strategies fine tuning in the sense you must have already come across open ai uh, chat gpt fine tuning in your uh, past same way you can fine tune a lot of models that is already available in the hugging face up let us go to the auto train page so this is the auto train beta that you can find it uh, in uh, hugging face up in your case you will not see any of these uh, any of these projects you will only see this new project Okay, and this particular auto train page is part of the Hugging Face main uh, main web page. In the main web page, if you come to the solutions, you will see that this auto train has been added. The point before we go to auto train, I want to dive a little bit deeper into something different. So I want you guys to go to the tasks and review the tasks that the uh, that this hugging face hub models can uh, uh, can automate basically uh, all the models actually automate certain tasks right so you see there are various uh, modalities that is vision language and audio video and multimodal apart from that each of the modalities like vision has various tasks and uh, nlp has various tasks and each of these tasks so for an example if i let us say let us take something much more easier let us uh, take summarization so why i am going to summarization i'll explain to you in a moment the purpose i am the i am showing this is that you i want you guys to explore the tasks before you start discussing about finding the models so each of the tasks inside the uh, hugging face hub has its own models so you see the models here and each of the models has its own data sets so the reason why i wanted you guys to come and uh, check this particular page is that i want you to get familiar with the tasks its data sets and its models it will be required in a couple of minutes in the playlist in my youtube playlist i have already created a lot of discussions on the tasks nlp tasks and vision tasks there is a separate video also i will be attaching that video along this uh, particular uh, discussion take a look at that for more understanding this is a brief uh, you know detour i want uh, to take let us go back to the pdf so let us dive into the challenge at our hand in our hand that is to fine tune a model so what is fine tuning and and why i am calling it as rewiring the model uh, fine tuning or retraining is the act of uh, training the existing model a uh, large language model or any artificial intelligence neural network model with new set of prompt plus expected output so the llm can learn from the instruction so you see this activity of uh, fine tuning or retraining the model requires a new set of prompt or expected output so prompt plus expected output so this is always the case with all the models you give the set of inputs and the outputs the model works on the works uh, learns from these uh, inputs and outputs and then gets itself tuned in order to do that first of all you need to start by deciding the task so if you are going to tune the llm you have to decide the task and the model that needs to be trained because llms there are so many models like as i already showed showed it to you like in artificial intelligence models or uh, machine learning models or large language models there are lots of uh, different different varieties of models available and also you can do a various kind of task so you need to decide that first after that you need to create a data set that can be used for the specific task 
this is very important because each task will have its own type of data set its own type of input and output even in case of uh, the text generation in case of text classification in case of uh, image classification the type of data set is different i'll be showing you these things as i run uh, run through the various examples after you create the data set you have to push it to the hub so this is optional but you can push it to the hub and then you can pull it from there now once the data set is inside the hub then it is very easy easy for the transformers uh, trainer okay now this particular steps after you create the data set and push it to the hub the what follows next is what is getting automated by auto train these steps are getting automated the the process of creating the transformers trainers tokenizing the prompts and the expected outputs and feeding it to the trainers awaiting the trainer to complete the training process and then check the new model inference this is the process that is getting auto automated by the auto train process in order for the auto train to work you have to still feed it with the model that you want to train as i already explained and the data set and you have to decide the task so this is a brief i wanted to provide and uh, the second uh, most important challenge you guys will face is i have been insisting on data sets and i have been showing you the various ways to look at the data sets why because uh, you must you must, guys must have already come across lots of discussion uh, that has been happening in the media as well as in the various uh, tutorials that you must have gone through that the data is the fuel apart from the data the most important fuel is the hardware resource so here the challenge in we are actually trying to learn right you have to understand how to do the fine tuning and uh, we are all on top of it we are trying to automate the fine tuning process so how to get the data and how to get the data that can be used inside the auto train so these are the two challenges that we are going to solve when i was searching for this particular uh, particular uh, challenge to solve it so i came across uh, uh, came across a post by suraj 520 in kagal so uh, this uh, person uh, he is under sabbatical he is uh, from patna that's what i have heard uh, that's what i have read from his profile he has done a wonderful job of you know telling what kind of models you can use for each of the task so he has explained it very nicely in one of his comments so i felt that i should share this with you guys and also to thank him uh, through this video this is one of the ways where you can actually go and check any of the data sets that is available like tri trivia qa or squad you can use for uh, for paraphrasing you, you can use pran nmt or quora question pass all these are data sets that has been curated by the community and it has been uploaded in uh, uh, hubs like kaggle hugging face up etc now these data sets have their own uh, challenges that it has to be cleaned it cannot be directly Uh, sent into the auto train uh, to for the fine tuning so it requires a considerable amount of effort and the foremost effort is just give me a moment so if you come to the hug uh, just a minute if you come to the hugging face up and click on pricing and uh, inside the pricing if you take a look at the auto train pricing so the point we are discussing about auto train so i want you guys to take a look at the auto train pricing and uh, auto train says that it starts at 0 dollar per month and uh, let us let us explore what is the pricing all about so here uh, the this is the basic uh, pricing structure so uh, in order to train using auto train data set is important and the number of data points that you can use for training in case of uh, free that is free version is you can go up to 500 images for image tasks and nlp and tableau tasks you can go up to 3000 rows and uh, you can train one model at a time uh, let me explain to you what th what this means up to one model at a time once we go into the exam example okay but if you are going to go for pro account if you are going to go for pay as you go you, the respective uh, things are different here so now we see that uh, there are two constraints i was talking about right one is the data set and another is the resource so the auto train service actually uh, has uh, priced the activity priced their service in such a way that depending on the number of rows the Uh, number of rows that you are going to input into the model input into the auto train service the uh, 
uh, auto train service the cost of model cost of running the model will be increased so based on that they have actually uh, made the pricing here so this is something that i want you guys to understand the challenge you will face is so for an example if you go to auto train okay and this is a challenge that that i faced so when i started uh, trying uh, trying to work with auto train so you will go to new project okay so you will choose any of the so let us take vision uh, classification so let us take uh, trial vision okay and you will go to so there is only one option in image classification so you are going to use that you are going to use model choices automatic you can actually change the models so this is what i was talking about so you can take any number of different different kinds of models available and you can tune it but i am not going to change it right now i will explain the change in in another one task let us go to vision and i am going to create the project once i create the project the next step the auto train asks asks you to do is to choose a data set this is where the challenge starts okay so just give me a moment sorry about that once you uh, create the project you will actually have to move to the next step where you have to create the data set so in the data set what will happen is you can either you can either use the existing data set or you can load your own data sets but in case of uh, so you can use your own data sets if you have you can actually load it but in case of image data set this is going to be a little bit challenging for you guys let me explain to you why i am telling this okay okay but before that we can actually go to uh, hugging face up and you can browse the data set and you can load it so let us uh, use i have already created a couple of data sets for uh, this process and i will show it to you uh, how how to do that okay but so this is the data set that i have created it is called cfr 500 and once you load it so you will actually proceed like this and you will train you can click train however uh, assume that you don't have this cfr 500 okay because you will not have it uh, if you don't if you have not followed this particular video you will not have it so you can actually use the regular cfr 100 data set the CIFAR 100 data set is really huge. So let me show you what will happen. So I am using the CIFAR 100 uh, train and I am going to import it. So it is going to import the model. It is asking me to select the column that is the image relative path. So this is the image relative path. So I will select this column and the target column is this label, either of the label. So at this moment use the course label. I will explain to you why little later. I am going to select the course label and I am going to add to the project. So the data set is added to the project right now. Now is the surprise that is going to come. So once you have done this all, it is asking you to go to the trainings. So click on trainings and wait for the surprise. So here the process starts where the data set is getting added to the, uh, the training loop. So it has to go through the process of uh, extracting the features, creating, uh, getting the data set ready for the actual training process. And once the training process is ready, then the entire data set gets pushed back into the hugging phase up. So a lot of activity goes on in the background and all of these steps are shown here. And uh, you can see that the activity is starting right now. And it is in the pending stage because there would be some other uh, uh, important task that needs to be done before the actual process of data set upload. Just give it a couple of minutes. So as it is getting done, let us go to the Hugging Face Hub again and let us visit the tasks page. The If you go to the tasks here and if you visit the image classification task under vision uh, vision models, so where is image classification? So here is the image classification. Click on that. And once you visit that, if you go down, you will see that uh, the CIFAR model, CIFAR data set can be also used. So you can, yeah, here is the here is the data sets for the image. So this is how I found that we can use this particular, particular data set for uh, image classification, right? This is how I found it. So let us go back to the PDF for a moment. Sorry about that. So here uh, there are two options. So if you are going to leverage the data set library, then you have to visit the hugging face tasks. As I explained to you, you need to locate the data set 
and then you have to okay here i have given additional three steps so i'll explain to you why so uh, i here i have told that you have to load the data set in the collab environment you have to select 3000 rows or 500 rows and then push the data set back to hugging phase up and use it so why have i given these three steps which is which looks strange and also uh, the most important thing is i have told i have given you uh, this next slide where i explained to you that some important tasks that you are going to look at and the collab notebook or the uh, the github uh, jupyter notebook that i have pushed so what is this all about uh, let me explain to you explain this to you in a moment so let us go back to the browser i hope that it should have uh, completed the process let us go to hugging uh, auto train hugging face up okay so it is still happening because it's it's a it's a considerably large uh, data set so it is taking time let us uh, continue with the discussion so the uh, this particular jupyter notebook that i was talking about is already pushed onto the github repo and you can take a look at that in that repo the reason why i was telling uh, you know selecting 500 ima 500 rows or 3000 rows is that once you use those 3000 rows then you can use the free version of auto train if you are going to go with any of the higher number of rows so if it is not going to be 3000 if it is going to be more than that then for each of the row you will be charged and as you are going to learn working with a chargeable based model is does not suit you and at the same time how are you going to get a data set which is uh, which is a 500 rows or 3000 rows you have you cannot do it manually because doing it manually is going to be an additional task uh, you know loading even though you might be having some background in uh, uh, pandas or if you have some background in python also even then loading the model into the hugging face hub is going to take multiple steps and you have to attach a lot of configuration to it and uh, if you want to understand about data sets library there is already a discussion that i have done in my playlist you can take a look at that i will attach that also the point is why to go through all the process if you can take a easier route the easier route is so what i've done here is that you go to the task you go to the task page you find the uh, data set you come back to the jupyter notebook okay so i already opened it in the collab notebook here so you can go to the collab environment you can install all these things you can log in so you have to log into hugging face up using notebook login you can get the uh, get the right permission key this is very important you have to go into hugging face up go into the uh, settings go into your settings and inside here you will be able to find the necessary uh, details how to get the uh, uh, how to get the api key for this particular task so take a look at that i'm not going to show the, uh, show that particular process because it is going it will show the uh, private information so i'm not uh, sharing the page here you can this is a very simple process so once you do this you will so let me execute this and i will show it to you so probably it will ask me the api key so if you click on that so it will ask you the api token so click on the api token and also it gives you the location from where you can get this so it is very straightforward so you don't need to worry about that and now the actual uh, step so what you're going to do is we know the model name right so if you go here let us go back if you go here and if you go down and uh, just uh, yeah uh, just uh, yeah click on this it will take you to the model page the internet is little bit slower it will take you take you to the model page once you go to the model page just click on this uh, icon copy icon it will copy the model name you don't need to do anything you don't need need to even type it so the reason why i'm copying is that uh, the model names are couple of times a little difficult to remember so you might actually make mistakes so come here and paste it once you do that this if you use the load data set the model will get loaded the data set will get loaded not the model i'm sorry the data set will get loaded once the data set is loaded you can take a take the look at the data set features like this so you see there are two uh, sets of data here there is train and there is test and each of the uh, feature has this has around 50000 rows and test has around 10000 rows but as i was explaining uh, the hugging face uh, the auto train can allow you only up to 3000 rows uh, in case of image classification it is only 500 images and uh, 
whatever is going to go above that is going to charge be chargeable so let us go here okay it is still taking a lot of time because of the size uh, let me do something different let me go to the data okay i'm going to do do it again and this time what i'm going to do is i am going to select the data set uh, that i have created so that will be you know a little bit faster and i will show you what exactly will happen because the other option is taking a lot of time let us go here let us train import so once you start importing you need to take the image okay add to project so i cannot update the data processing in progress okay anyway so now we cannot change anything let us delete this okay and let us go to the data So if uh, issue something like this happen, you can always delete the data set that you have uh, updated. So in my case, I'm getting a server error because the data processing is in progress. So it's not able to delete it. But if you want to delete it before the processing or after the processing, you can always do that by using the delete option. So the, uh, the reason why it is taking a lot of time, as I was telling you, it's a huge data set. It's almost 60,000 images and it is going to take a lot of time, right? So it has to copy all the images. It has to copy, it has to create the data set in a new repository and it has to create all the configuration. So that is why it is taking a lot of time. And all this requires compute. Hugging Face Hub has been very kind and they have shared the compute for us. Now, what I'm going to do next is, I'm going to take only 500 images out of this training data set okay and i am going to create a new data uh, set so i am this is the main data set i am going to take the train feature uh, train set from the uh, main data set i am going to shuffle it this is kind of a random uh, shuffling of the data set and i am going to select 500 so this is how you have to select the data so once you do that you will you will get a new data set c4 underscore 500 and then you can push it to the hub and once you push this to your hub so once you log into log in here with uh, the right token then the the same data set will get pushed into your uh, your own repository under your name in my case that is if i go back here and if i go to let me go to kamal jp if i go to my page in inside uh, the data set you will see there are lots of models that i have already trained and there are lots of data sets same way you will also have lots of data sets in your once you start creating you will have lots of data sets like this so this is the primary intention of uh, uh, you know this particular discussion because as i was explaining that if you are going to use auto train and if you are going to cross the rows that is more than 3000 or 3000 or 500 in case of images then you have to pay and uh, you when you are learning you don't need to pay at least you can learn the processes and then once you are confident uh, once you decide that okay this particular process will be useful for you then you can start using the paid option so what you're going to do now is i am going to show you how uh, these tasks work with auto train okay I'll, I'll be loading the data sets and i'll be explaining it to you one by one i've already done this i'll be showing it to you from those uh, projects also for your reference so let us go to the browser and uh, so here there are various models i've already trained so all this auto train you see here these are all the models that has been trained by auto train service so this is the model auto train model that i uh, for trained for uh, image classification and uh, you see this uh, this has been done just in the morning of this particular video and you see it does all the activities you don't need to create anything it everything is automated okay and it uh, comes to a level where you can use this inference api you can provide the examples like for an example if i give tiger and it will start loading the model it will start uh, compiling everything and also it will tell you what data set is being used so in my case it is a private data set called data c4 500 and you see <laughs> so here the output is not very strong so the output here uh, is uh, between various uh, uh, various types of uh, objects from household furnitures to non-insect invertebrates and you see that the model ranking is not that uh, you know awesome 
let us you know compare it so let us actually go to a image classification uh, task and let me show you the uh, the process in other image classification so let us go to let us go to resnet 50 so this is the topmost model in image classification and uh, okay so it is asking to drop an image here so let us uh, let me do that just give me a moment okay so i have uh, deleted the earlier cifar upload and now i have uh, created a new uh, new auto train uh, project called uh, trail b so this is the auto train project and i have loaded the cifar 500 uh, data set and once i once the data set is loaded and you see here the training fee they are talking about so here it's saying 12 extra training fee and it is talking about you have four models more than allowed amount for your account so basically if i select five models then what this means is that this particular data that you are providing will be trained on five different models so what i mean to say is they will take some five different models like resnet or uh, 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 facebook mnli or whatever kinds of models that is available they will train on all the five models and then give give you the best result so here you see that i am just giving you an example of resnet where i have uploaded this particular image that is the uh, thumbnail of this particular youtube video and you see that uh, you see the output here it is it is in 0 0.62 0 0.21 etc so this is actually at a very low rate and this is very confident it's almost 0 0.627 so it is saying something as pick plectrum plectron etc and it can be also a website or something so uh, yeah it did not actually find out that it is a presentation slide but the presentation slide is not part of the data set itself so whatever data whatever output you have got is good but come and check our classification so all our classification is in 0 0.007 why is this that is because the way i have used this particular trained this particular model is just with 500 data sets i so as i explained here i have just used 500 data sets i have not used 500 data points not data sets 500 data points meaning that each uh, there are only 500 rows or 500 images in this uh, in this data set but resnet on the contrary has been uh, trained with a huge amount of data so uh, if you actually read their model uh, uh, if they if you read their model card they will explain to you how, what kind of uh, data has been used and uh, the rest of the details can be provided in this model card so you can take a look at that let us go back to the auto train now as i was explaining when you are trying to learn it is better to use the free model right so just click on one model so once you click on one model it will choose only one model right and it will you will say that you can start model training for free so you you won't be charged or any additional fees for this training job to train mo more models use auto train advanced so this is the step i was talking about so in this case if you had more than 5000 uh, more than 500 rows then you will be asked to be charged so what will happen is so for an example if i click start model training then it will say shall i continue and you can just say confirm once you say confirm the training job starts okay and uh, once the training job starts you don't need to do anything so let us go back to the pdf once you uh, what this step i was talking about so uh, now the model will do all the activity so i have selected the uh, model i have told that you select any of the model that you want i have given that choice to the auto train and i have given the data set that i want the model to be trained upon and after this this steps will be taken care by the auto train uh, process so that is what is happening right now so this is what is going on the training activities uh, under uh, training activities under process and you can see the accuracy going on here and you can check the metrics also so the metrics will be uh, getting updated uh, as the training goes on at this moment uh, so you guys might be you know completely new to machine learning natural language processing or vision model processing all this might be completely new but one of the benefits of you know seeing all these things uh, uh, you know uh, through the GUI you can actually learn things really fast it is one of the most important point I wanted to add here 
as i always say in my presentations you have to practice right so uh, i believe you like this content uh, do leave a like and share it with others and most importantly i want you guys to practice a lot with different different kinds of environment auto train is one of the environments where you can practice to fine tuning your own different different models you actually don't need to understand uh, python or any of the programming languages for that matter let us go back to the browser what i mean to say is that yes you have to understand little bit of python you have to execute some amount of code however you are not executing you are not typing any kind of logic here uh, so what i mean to say is that whatever code you are executing here this is not actually programming this is basically you are taking some kind of commands which you will be doing it anyway using gui so uh, if you go to auto train if you click on uh, so let us take let us take if you click on new project it will open a new page and you will select the data set you will select the model all these are active activity that you are doing right you are doing it with your mouse here the same thing in case of uh, the collab notebook what we are doing is we are writing the command and we are getting it automated we are not actually writing any kind of logic here so this is what i am trying to insist here so once you are able to execute these commands and once you understand what you really want so in this case we want to practice various types of tasks the various types of tasks that i am talking about here is we have to work on image classification text question answering regression and summarization right so all this is already available inside this particular collab notebook so let us go back to the browser i have already done so like how i have done for sifar i have done it for question answering also so for question answering squad data set i have loaded it and i have taken 3000 ranges and then i have started uh, doing the same thing for summarization so i have used xsum for summarization uh, data set xsum data set and for uh, uh, reviews for text regression i used amazon us reviews so all these things i have gone through this and i have loaded here what i want you guys to do is go back to the go back to the tasks and get a new data set so Uh, let us go back a step get a new data set and uh, so for this is the task that is for image classification then get a new data set so for an example you can take resnet and then come here and try to load the data set first of all and create uh, create a 500 rows of the data set by using this sifa uh, by using this particular command and then push the data set into the hub once you start doing this once you start understanding what is going on it will be extremely easy for you guys and in the future when you when you want to load your own uh, data set and if you want to practice uh, or if you want to create your own product or your own service it it will be extremely easy so that is the purpose of you know auto train and uh, so that is what they are aiming for so for an example let us go to text right now i'm in the auto train page i'm going to create trial Uh, trial text and i am going to use question answering okay extractive question answering and i am going to use the model choice as automatic i am not going to change it and i am going to create the project so you don't need to change any of these things you don't need to touch any of these things and in case of question answer extracting i am going to browse the data sets and uh, i am going to use squad squad v2 is a very uh, uh, famous Uh, data set because it was created by stanford uh, research institute and you can select the config i am going to use select squad v2 and i am going to select train and i am going to import and once you import it will ask you so in case of question answering here is the uh, difference so depending on the task the data that you need to feed to the model will be different so for question answering we need to provide the context so, so here is the context you need to provide the context you need to provide the question column so the question column is also available you need to provide the answer column answer column is available and you need to provide from where the answer is starting in the context so in this context the answer will be starting somewhere so you need to tell the model from where it is starting so this is the example data set that you are able to see you know this is the point i was talking about so now with the help of auto train uh, you may not actually become really good in uh, uh, directly you may not really become really good in fine tuning or doing uh, uh, you know fine tuning using uh, transformers or using data sets library however you can understand what is going on 
you know for when we were learning when i was learning like we were not able to we were not shown these kinds of data when we were trying to load the data in the python library we were we were all visualizing it in our head so we will visualize okay so this this is the context and inside the context the this is the point inside the context where the answer is starting all these things were visualized by us so we will have pandas or we will have some kind of library to show it uh, by manually showing it to us by using commands but now all these things have been automated and it it is shown to us through the auto train service once you select all this just click on add project so now the data set is getting added to the project so it is getting registered and it is getting added so let us go to the training and you'll see the same process starts so it will takes a little time okay you can take a look at the context so it is going step by step since this is only text data this will uh, be a little bit faster and let us go back to the pdf again so like this there is actually text regression and text summarization uh, and also there is tabular uh, tasks all these things i will be explaining in another 2 minutes i will explain that also let us go back to the browser so as this is going on let me go back to the <clears throat> let me go back to the tasks and let me show you the other uh, other two tasks that we are talking about so the summarization task so we have see how is the question answering let us summarization task so if you click on summarization task you will see that the concept of summarization is that you have to provide a huge uh, data you have to provide a huge data so for an example here is the huge, uh, uh, you know paragraph of information and the model computes it at the back end and it provides a simple small summary so this is a summary that is provided out for this the data set it is available uh, for this data set is ml sum sam sum and also xsum xsum is one of the uh, prominent data sets available so you can see the number of data sets here 324 data sets are available let us go back to auto train for a moment let us see whether the data set has been loaded okay so it is still uh, processing okay sometimes what happens is this kind of pending activity continues for a long time this is happening because the compute resource is not allocated to you okay so when this is happening you have to wait there is no other choice and as moreover we are using the free version of it our priority will be at the lower level priority will be given to people who are already using the paid version of it yeah so at the end of the day uh, take uh, give sufficient amount of time and uh, take sufficient amount of time for learning so be patient and uh, once the task completes then you can understand the things much easy much easily in my case i will go to the already the existing uh, model that i have already created i have followed the same process and uh, once you follow all the process you will get the output like this and uh, if you go to the metrics and uh, if you click on this uh, model id the moment you click on it it will open the model page for you just a minute sorry about the delay so the model page has got opened and you can do the summarization here so here the example will get automatically populated if you give it a moment it will get automatically populated and you will see the summary out each of this step that i am showing here try to execute it for all this uh, uh, all this uh, tasks that i have shown in the pdf uh, just a minute let us go to the pdf so here uh, as i was explaining so these are the things that i am you know requesting you guys to do it for uh, this particular video i believe that you have uh, understood what is the requirement what is the challenge that is uh, getting solved here by auto train you have seen that in order to use auto train you have to change the number of rows to less than 500 or less than 3000 depending on the depending on the type of task that you are going to do and then you have to load it into auto train and then you have to train the model you are seeing why it is required because of the cost and uh, we have also seen that what auto train actually automates so this four steps is what it gets automated 
and uh, the rest of the steps you have to do it manually and in order to do those steps manually we are okay so here you see uh, okay just a minute i think the summarization is up let us go up so this is the summarization task that i already done uh, sorry this is the summarization task that is shown in the hugging face up let us close this let us come to the summarization task that i had done so here what i have done is so here it's a very small uh, let us uh, you know let us increase this and let us compute this is a very small uh, you know uh, input that i am giving and you don't expect a lot of output from here the reason why i am you know uh, doing this activity is to show you what is the output that you will finally expect and this output is not going to be perfect why because we are using very very limited data set we are only using 3000 rows but if you want the model to be see you see that uh, it is coming in a it has come out in a different way so i have given uh, given two sentences but here you see it is giving me couple of more sentences basically the summarizer will take at least 10 to 15 sentences and then it will provide two or three sentences as a summary so you can practice these things and uh, test it out <clears throat> let us go back and same way you can work on other activities like uh, uh, question answer training text regression so in case of text regression what happens is uh, so basically it will take the data set so let me show you in case of text regression uh, the data set that i use is amazon 3000 so if you go to the this particular uh, notebook so if you go down i have loaded the data set so if you low if you go down uh, you can actually see that uh, this amazon data set just a minute this amazon uh, data set uh, will have us 3000 train I will show you one column so that you guys can understand what this uh, data set will contain. Okay, so this will not have the train option here. Let me remove that. Let me, I suppose this should work. Yeah. So here you see uh, the train option is not there because uh, I have removed that. Once I select the range of 3000, this is gone. This particular train will not be there anymore. You see this particular each row inside the Amazon US 3000 will have all this data and you see that there is a product title and there is a review headline and there is review body. So the review body will be the will be the input the text input and the star rating will be the target. So based on the review body the star rating will be predicted that is the uh, outcome of this particular model this particular model so if you click on uh, click on this matrix and if you click on the so once you train it you will get this input so now if you go to your auto train you will not be able to see these uh, projects you need to do it and then only you will get it the point i am again highlighting here is the data set has to be less than 3000 or uh, it should be equal to or less than 3000 and in case of image task it should be 500 or less than that with that you can actually train the model you can get the model metrics you can uh, check the model how it is working so here is the here is the data that i am talking about the inference api so if you click on the example you can uh, check the uh, various examples and then you can test it out with that said let me go to the pdf again just give me a moment So 
uh, I believe that you got, must have got our overview right now about uh, the about the uh, auto train uh, service. Do try to practice and uh, see what kind of challenges you are facing and uh, train some models, load and push it to the hub. And uh, with that said, I believe you like this content. Do leave a like and share it with others. This kind of information is uh, is available already, but trying to change the service, trying to change the examples for your own uh, suitability is more important. And you learn a lot more by doing that. With that said, I would like to uh, also request you guys to subscribe to my channel uh, for getting more updates on not just large language models as you saw i'll be working around the open source ecosystem